Margo. Well, the wife of actor Alec Baldwin is opening up about a very personal topic. Hilaria Baldwin says she's most likely having a miscarriage. The mom of four is pregnant with her fifth child. In an Instagram post you see here on your screen, she told followers that the baby isn't growing very much and most likely isn't a viable pregnancy. She said she wanted to share her heartbreaking experience to normalize miscarriages and remove the stigma from it. The American Pregnancy Association says about 10 to 25 percent of clinically recognized pregnancies will end in a miscarriage. So joining us today is Dr. Peter Beller from Hartford Hospital. It is such a personal and touching topic and seeing someone, you know, in the public eye who's opening up, certainly trying to normalize it. Can you talk to us a little bit about just how many women do have to go through something like this? Well, as you stated, it's probably between 20, 25 percent of, of all diagnosed pregnancies will end in early miscarriage. Um, most of the time, that's there's nothing that the patient, I shouldn't say most, all of the time, usually the, the patient has done nothing to make that happen. And it is a very um, trying time for the woman, um, her, her partner, um, and they need a lot of support um, available to them from family, friends. Um, and there are programs available for them. Sometimes we think more about women who uh, experience fetal loss later in pregnancy as having more uh, trauma related to that, but it also can occur early in pregnancy as well. You talked about having that support. Can you kind of explain the role it might take on for a partner who's having to deal with a loved one who's going through that? Well, it can affect the partner as well. Sometimes it's the partner who's affected more than the, the woman. Um, you know, it depends on everybody um, sort of treats this trauma individually so some people are more looking for support from outside help or from their family and friends um, their partners it's and even us as providers is is really becoming uh, more of an empathetic kind of thing. Um, not that it never was, but uh, we're, we've recognized that more. Um, when I see patients who are experiencing a miscarriage or early pregnancy loss, the first thing that I say to them is, I'm sorry for your loss, which isn't something that we were taught to do when I was in medical school. So it's, it's become that approach um, to be more empathetic for the patient and the family from the start. Now, in terms of Hillary Baldwin's loss, she has other children and with other families who may be dealing with that as well. How do you kind of approach that when speaking with the other children in the family? Um, well, that's a tough one. Um, sometimes it obviously depends on the age of the family, of the children, and how much they've already been um, informed of what's going on. Um, that's very difficult to do, um, you know, particularly if it's a 10 or 12 year old child who their mother is pregnant and then has a pregnancy loss, that can be hard to explain. Do you have any words of wisdom or things that you want women at home to know if it's something that they are either going through, have gone through, or, you know, maybe hope to get pregnant in the future and it, and it could happen? Um, sure. Um, again, it, unfortunately, it is, it is very common. Um, it is no one's fault that it occurs. Um, and there are, there are help um, for patients. Um, the Hartford Hospital with the Institute of Living over at Hartford has a, a, what's called the peripartum mood disorder program. So it's around pregnancy, peripartum. So it can be early in pregnancy, later in pregnancy, or after pregnancy. Um, but there are services available for that. There are certainly programs, I honestly can't remember their names right now, um, for particularly women who have undergone pregnancy loss. Well, um, so there there's are, a lot, there are, there's there's a lot, lot out, out there, there. so right. it's good to right. just yes. and normalize it and let people know that they're not alone. Right. That's well, Doctor, true. we thank you so much for shedding some insight on that. We appreciate having you here today. Thanks for having me. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, coming up next.